Hey everybody, JC Tan here again and today I want to be able to share the most asked question from our team and that is how we have been able to get great delivery rates when sending messages to our prospects. And as you can see um, here on my screen, we have been basically consistent in hitting 85% and above in terms of delivery rate. Currently, we're at 90% um, and above for majority of our clients and as you can see here, the second messages are at 100% to even at 99% on a third day, which is great. In fact, most of these failed messages are just error 30003, which means the number are um, inactive. So there's not much 30007, which I'm going to define later what it means. But it's mainly, you know, the, the messages, you know, were flagged because of the, 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 the words that you have used on your template. But uh, basically, as you can see, 90% for all, at least 100% to all the active numbers were sent successfully with the templates that we have been using. So for today's video, I want to be able to share messaging best practice on how that can improve or affect your delivery rate. So we have um, at least eight best practices that we would like to share. And this is one of the document that I can share with you. Um, like the link later on after this video. But basically, it's important that we do understand that unlike, unlike cold calling, um, you know, all text messages goes through spam filtering. So it is it is important for us to be unique. It is important to us uh, for us to have our own strategy and also important for us to understand how the, the carriers actually filter these messages. So there's three things that, you know, there's actually three factors that carriers um, take, you know, put in place in terms of scoring the numbers or the messages that are being delivered from any marketing agency. So the first thing is um, they, they do check how many text message comes from a phone number during a given period of time. And I believe this has been this has mentioned um, a lot of times already that when you're sending messages, it's important that you understand that you should only be sending 150 to at least 200 texts. In fact, if you want to be safe, you can be sending or you can only be sending 100 um, for each, you know, Twilio number. So like, you know, sending 100 to 200 um, is the safest to actually uh, make sure that you wouldn't be flagged by the carrier. And also, um, it says here that having many similar messages have traversed the carrier's network. So like having the same template all the time basically can, um, you know, can, can, can affect the delivery rates and at the same time it can also affect the phone numbers that you're using when you're te sending text messages okay so it, it is important that you understand that there's a lot of reputation happening with the context of text messages that um that is being sent that messages will get flagged not again the the, the content of the, the messages will get flagged but not only the content of the text message but also the numbers associated with it and one thing that we also notice is that when your phone number has been flagged with that previous template even if you use another template um definitely you know the delivery rates would still be poor just because of the fact that the template that you initially used um has been flagged so even if the number is still in good health you know the, the next template might not work that's the reason why i'm saying that it's important for you to also be uh, really unique in in terms of the initial sms that you're sending to your sellers or to your prospects if um the the last thing that the carriers do consider is if the context in your messages is high match for spam which i'm going to discuss in a bit but there are keywords and words that are being heavily blocked by the national phone providers that you want to try as much as possible to avoid to ensure that you have higher delivery rates okay so these are the best practices i would like to uh, really share it to everybody. Um, I've been, you know, I've been saying this multiple times, but really it's important that you do create your own templates as much as possible. You make it sound like you're the one talking, right? I think one of the mistake of most investors is that they try to Google what works for everybody, but really that's not, that shouldn't be the case. You should be creating your own unique templates. If you can create like 10 to 15 templates that you can switch from time to time and then make it sound like it's coming from you is 
I would say the best thing that you could do to ensure that you have the higher delivery rates. Um, one thing that we do is, you know, we try to be different from others. As you can see, it's more of like I'm in search for places. It's not like we say I'm looking to buy your house because uh, buy is just one of the um, flag words. Although there's a flag word here, which is an offer, which I'm going to share with you how we're able to still deliver the message later on. But, you know, um, trying not to copy how everybody's doing it is the key. Right. Number two, best practices is definitely um, checking the phone numbers health. This is this should happen even before launching a text campaign or even before you purchase a phone number. You have to double check if that phone number has ever been flagged as spam. And uh, the, the free way to do that is you can use these resources. Look up that robokiller.com or should dial answer.com. If you go to this website, you can just basically type in the phone number in here and you know, check and see if the phone number that you're about to use or that you have been using for a while has been has ever been flagged as um, spam or, you know, check the ratings, whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and visit that site. So, you know, at least you can check. Hmm. You can get this number from the settings with an REA reply. So here, again, you can search for free. So all you need to do is just type in the phone number, just search. If it says we're sorry, that number is not in our database. That only means that the number is um, in good health just because of the fact that it has never been reported to be a, rob um, a rubble phone number or it's, you know, it's not been silenced for spam. This uh, applies to this as well. So you can see the phone number I, I just put in says, there's no users um, have ever been reported this phone number to be suspicious in activity. This means that this number is also not um, at some point in their database to be reported as spam. So that's one thing that, you know, that's one good practice as you can, you know, you can do before purchasing a phone number or when you notice that the delivery rate is going down or at least, you know, there's been inconsistency even if you have been complying in terms of the text templates, you know, one thing to check is to check, um, you know, to check the phone numbers tell. All right. Number three is being able to create message variation. Um, you're not supposed to be, you know, you're not supposed to be using the system to just sit there and then wait for the messages to be delivered. OK, again, it's not just to come in here and send message every day. It's being able to maintain your phone number and try not to get flagged or being able to change your text template to make sure that you're not also going to get flagged. All right. So, you know, having 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 to come in to REA reply and just go into automations, click on campaigns, and then just editing the initial SMS actually helps, you know, just changing high from, from high to hey, and then changing at least three um, words in your text templates on a, every single day actually helps in making sure that your delivery rates is is definitely high right um, again going back to how the carriers are actually filtering messages if they notice similar messages um, that transfers to the, the network uh, they can actually flag the phone number or the template itself so it's important that you do create variation and that's also you know that's also important if you do or that's also the, the reason why you have to really get some help because if you are working full-time you, you you're doing real estate investing and you know you don't have time to do this because definitely whatever is in there you just launch your sms without realizing that you may be wasting money on text messages that are not being delivered and you're basically wasting data as well because basically these messages are not being sent to the phone numbers you want okay number four although this is not something that i mean i would say for at&t yes it's mandatory but not really for all carriers um it's actually having your alias company i i, I did mention it's alias not necessarily your actual business name right away so that you just don't get reported right away <laughs> so having like an alias name or alias company actually helps whenever you're sending messages because it you know it 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 tells it tells the carrier or the um that yeah the carriers that your allergic company sending text messages all right and number five um i believe that's very uh, self-explanatory i mean number four is very self-explanatory number five is again being able to review that there isn't a lot of reputation praise or phrases or wordings in your 
text messaging template. So here are some of the keywords that you should at you know at all costs try to avoid. Although like I said, if you have used this in the past and you've noticed that you can still use some of the wordings and it doesn't affect your delivery, you can still use them. Just like for example for us, uh, for this account we're still able to use the word offer. You can you know you can still keep using it but as, at, at all costs try to avoid any of these words initially when you launch your text messaging because these are the keywords that are being heavily blocked by the national phone providers and again it might result in your messages not being delivered and at the same time it might also result to having your phone number um, totally blocked by the carrier so if you can take note of these words uh, make sure that whenever you're creating your template it's not part of like any of these are not part of your template okay um, number six is familiar familiarize yourself with a common error messaging code actually i will be creating a separate video understanding on how you can also resolve error messages whenever you see them um i'm talking about the message failed rates in your rei reply accounts if you go to your rei reply accounts and try to review the failed messages you want to understand like why these messages were not delivered you can you, you would notice an error code right here or over here and the most common error codes that you would see are this three three zero 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 seven that means you have included the flag words one of these potentially in your initial text message that's why it was you know it was not delivered and then number two is three zero zero three that means the number is actually inactive or dead so you might need to re-skip trace the phone numbers that you have and zero zero six uh, which is the most important one for me is actually identifying that there are phone numbers in your campaign that are landlines Okay, we have people that are sending texts to landlines. Guys, you're wasting money. You're paying Twilio to send messages. So please, please, you know, be careful when you upload the list to ensure that it doesn't include landline. So the delivery rates would, you know, would be at least at 85%. Okay, because again, take note that we cannot send text message to landline numbers. So please, please do check that out. Okay, and although this is not, um, I would say this is not really... Uh, um, I would say we have text messages that we haven't been using up out language without any problems. So really, this is just more of a recommendation, but not necessarily something that you have to do. But having opt out language at the end of initial messages to also help. So for example, you've been you have used all of your templates and it's still not working. Maybe try adding an opt out language that says stop. Um, if you don't want to receive this message anymore, you can add that into your template as well. And lastly, but the most important is um, being able to review your stats and repeat the process. So I think it is important for you to come in every single day to just look at your delivery rates, whether that's above the benchmark, which is again, 85%. And also looking at the response rate, whether you're at least at 20%, um, just to see if your data is good or just to see if you have been able to like really get into your prospect. Okay, so review your stats and repeat the process. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if you do this, um, for sure, you would be able to um, not just, you know, not just have the higher delivery rates, but also being able to maintain your phone number's health and also being able to maintain the, you know, the text and the account itself that are going out of your account. Again, you're not just to come here on REI Apply just to send messages, but it's being able to maintain um, having, you know, the right reputation, the, the right phone number, um, good health phone number, and try not to get flagged, right? Um, remember that it's much easier to maintain than actually getting them back up or deactivated. So the benchmark should be at 85% or above. Your response rate has to be at 20% and above. And try to, again, send only like 100 SMS per phone number or at least up to 200 if you know if you, if you want to go um, do that. But for hours, we try to be at 100 per phone number and create, you know, really unique, create variations in every text message that you're, you're doing every single day. That's basically it. And if you do have any question, feel free to hit me up anytime. Um, again, as long as you, the delivery rate is good, then you should be doing really good in your business. Thanks again and have a great day.